This is the next beater I'm going to look at. This is a Unity UT90. You can see again it's all written in Chinese. And it's Modern Environmental Friendly Digital Multimeter. So, let's have a look at it. <laughs> nice display. Eh, it's huge. Doesn't look like it comes with a battery. So I'll go ahead and uh, again we'll put some batteries in this thing and uh, test it out and hopefully here she'll be fine. Just as a side note, I did get a new fuse for this meter. I'll verify that again today. Make sure that uh, that really does pass and if it does, it'll go on to uh, Cat 2 testing. Uh, so the meter here, it didn't come with a battery. It's no big deal. Uh, but I noticed you have to literally pop the back cover off to even put the battery in. So it has to lay down in the little tray here. And then it gets reassembled. So if you want to look at what's inside of this thing, you can see the two ceramic fuses. I assume the main IC is on the back side of this. Now you look down here, it uh, has these big diodes down here. I'm not sure what they're doing with those. Uh, it could be part of the protection. The yeah, meter's kind of cool. Uh, I've been playing around with it. Checks out fine. One of the things you notice with this is it tells you up here on the LCD what terminals you're supposed to connect the terminals to. Also, uh, by the black dot, it gives you the indication of which one is the common. That's pretty neat. It's not a bad meter. Functional-wise, this is really not a bad meter. We'll see if it holds up to the test. Alright, here we go.
Yeah, that's positive negative transients on all four terminals and all the modes. Next step, we'll see if it'll pass functional test. Okay, I've just gone through and uh, functionally tested this thing in all the different modes and it appears to pass. So we have another winner. Makes it through Cat 1. He'll go on to round 2 of our testing.